everyone if you're new this is day two of me catching up with all the past days of july which is world watercolor month and i'm doing a botanical theme for this year and this is going to be july the 5th and i'm going to start as i have started all the other ones which is the base of the illustration with this super fine nib um, of the platinum carbon ink fountain pen i wanted to draw another whimsical flower because i really enjoyed the last one if you haven't seen it um, it will be in the playlist with all the previous illustrations as well so that you can find them all easily in one place so here i wasn't certain what i was going for it sort of looks like a reversed a daisy but i tried to make the flower um kind of like i said on a whimsical side so it's more a fantasy flower rather than um, a real one and it has some doodling and i think Th this um, process sometimes when you have a more clear idea of what you want to do it works um, better sometimes I don't really know exactly what I want to do and it just works perfectly from the get-go which is actually a rare situation so it, it helps me to have a better idea before starting in most of the cases and so here I'm just doodling ahead and kind of finding this line work really easy and relaxing and kind of therapeutic. The other thing that I like about these compositions is always starting with the main flower and then kind of adding um, side flowers that are smaller and um, kind of create accents with the other flowers. And also some foliage and kind of make it quite airy. The other thing I tried to touch on in the previous uh, video is when I tried to explain why I decided to give myself this challenge of catching up with basically 20 um, illustrations and that means i will have to do three per day to catch up towards the end of the month with all of them and then i think i got sidetracked by something else and i never finished the thought but here is the thing we have been living in a very strange world with all sorts of strange things going around and um, a lot of negativity and i think mentally um, it is quite a difficult time for most of us and you know some people are into sports so they can maybe create kind of like home gyms if they have the space or work out at home and feel better. I, um, I wish I was into that now, I'm not and so my output um, and stress release is art. Having said that, um, I find that unfortunately there are very, very few um, creators on YouTube at the moment that are creating regular content and one of them who I'm watching like religiously um, currently is Irit and she's creating daily videos which i think is just so admirable because it really helps to have free content something that you don't have to purchase if you don't have the financial means yet you want to relax and um, take your mind off things so as her um, and myself we have created um, or we have brought out launched new online courses and um, I also did them because I thought the timing was just perfect I myself I am taking multiple online courses I have actually taken ERITs and 
just briefly maybe one in one video I'll, I'll talk a little bit more but um briefly wanted to touch on it that i really enjoyed it and i find that online courses really help to get distracted from all that negativity around us from it helps with you know anxiety if you if you feel feeling anxious or stressed in any way or you know if you're struggling from panic attacks art is really a powerful really powerful tool to help and even if you don't feel the energy there are those days i experience them myself sometimes where you have zero energy to do anything then just watching someone create trust me in a few days when you come around and you you feel a bit better you will definitely um, get something out of an online course and I'm just talking about myself here and so that's why I created the online course and Irit um, came out um, recently as well and and like I said I have been taking hers and there is uh, I finished it now and I also am taking now a six-week hardcore online course um, which was really pricey but I decided I'm just gonna give myself that gift uh, which really helps me to keep stress at bay and um, yeah just really distract myself from everything that's going around and kind of keeping balanced and you know happy so but of course there are people that cannot um, you know afford online courses and that's totally understandable um, actually I will be working on my next course which will be um, more at an affordable price it will be a smaller course um, and hopefully some at some point in August I can uh, launch it and then yeah it will be a botanical themed um, so everything about flowers basically so yeah so this is why I decided to do this now and give myself this challenge at, at one hand and but then on the other I find this very um, relaxing myself to do something dedicated um, and it doesn't have to be like one per day I'm, I mentioned this before it can be uh, that you spend you know if one day you feel totally uninspired or unable to create anything that you enjoy uh, scrap that day don't force yourself because that will actually create more stress wait maybe a day or two till you feel a bit better and creativity will start flowing again and then you can catch up with all the other days and who cares you know do three five sketches in one day if the inspiration is there this is exactly how i'm approaching this so i find it like a therapeutic experience to myself but i also want to create that sense of community where people can feel safe to come to my channel and have these videos three times a day and um yeah just feel like they can take their minds off and in a way it's like a free online course um obviously with online course you get a lot more information it's uh, a lot more kind of um maybe technical and detailed um free content is obviously not uh, at that level but in the sense that you will have three videos per day i have decided to post them at um from so from today they will be at set times uh uk time it will be 1 30 in the afternoon 3 30 and 5 30 so they will have two hour gaps between them us time they will be 8 30 a.m 10 30 and 12 30 in the afternoon so that means obviously we have five hour difference and therefore um, the US will have them ready to watch in the morning and yeah you can if you're feeling tired or stressed out or whatever whatever way you feel well, happy you don't have to be stressed or you don't have to feel unwell but I'm particularly doing it for those of us who kind of have those days you know where it's been it's been a quite challenging time so some days 
uh, maybe are a little bit more challenging than others. Uh, but, you know, um, I try to do my best. I stay positive and I help myself. I take my art supplies and I create. And like I said, there are days where I am unable to do that. Um, but I always come back within a day or two and I feel good and refreshed and it definitely helps me to first watch some content and secondly kind of observe things and then start creating. So I hope this is going to help you in the same way and you will feel that safety and stability in a way that you can come to my channel every day until the end of the month and you will have three videos um, which will be about 10 minutes plus so they're about 10 to 12 minutes each so that means you'll have over 30 minutes content per day um, three different flower um, illustrations that you can work with and hopefully it will brighten your day somewhat or give you some sort of something to look forward to you know what I mean um, like I said I'm we are sort of in the same boat and I know people are really struggling some people are really struggling and um, I just want to help uh, release that stress because I know how it can feel uh, and what it feels like and how hard it is to deal with it so that's my way of um, supporting my community and um, giving you that sense of um, contempt hopefully um, and yeah so as you saw this was a very easy very um, kind of light design and all of the floral illustrations will have that same style so nothing too complicated quite light something that all of us can do uh, whether you're a total beginner or have some experience already you will find this um, hopefully quite relaxing uh, to take part in so there i am i'm stamping the 5th of july and calling it finished the color palette has been limited it's been again that sort of kind of muted green um, mixed media all of the supplies will be listed below and i hope you enjoyed this illustration and see you in the next one in two hours see you then thanks for watching